Scott Euler, Scott Euler, Scott Euler, Scott Euler. Um, so what is a Scott Euler for those of you that aren't familiar with the product? It oils your chain while you ride. And this is the interesting thing about this. This is a feature that should be um, stock on all motorcycles. Like, it, it, there's no reason, there's no good reason for a motorcycle not to have this item. It, it, like, if the first motorcycle ever built had this included, then every other motorcycle afterwards would have included because no motorcycle would be no motorcycle company would be able to remove the feature and not look like a complete idiot because it's fairly necessary you know what I mean um, it's only because that companies don't fit them stock that people can it's somehow acceptable for people to not have them considering how it because it, it's okay a chain and sprocket that doesn't have a Scott Euler fitted to them wear out seven times faster up to seven times faster probably between like five times and seven times faster than uh, a chain and sprocket that does have a Scott Euler fitted and not only that and, and it's, not just, it's not just wear and tear it's also like um, performance and practicality because then once you have it fitted, you don't need to oil your chain anymore. And oiling a chain, as you know, can be a hassle. There was a, and not only not only that, it can be dangerous. There's a guy re recently I was reading in the in the, the forums. I think it was the GSXR forums. He was oiling his chain, and he kind of just uh, he put the bike in gear because it's it's a, it's a hassle. You you end up like uh, pushing the bike a foot, and then spraying some oil on part of the chain, and pushing it another foot, and spraying some oil on part of the chain, or you gotta like get the rear tire off the ground and turn the tire but that means you got to prop the rear end up and just like it, it can be impractical I'm sure there are some easier ways to do it that you can think of but nonetheless uh, there's nothing easier than just not doing it at all because you got a Scott oiler on your bike um, yeah but there was one guy who was doing it and he, the guy's like a mechanic too and he's like I don't know why I was so stupid like I'm, I'm you know I'm a mechanic I should have done this and what he did and he, he his hand actually got sucked he, he was using a cloth to wipe off the excess oil and the cloth got stuck on the chain and his hand got pulled under the rear sprocket and it just cut, cut up his fingers badly, very badly. You can imagine, it's, 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 he pretty much grabbed the chain and got his hand stuck into the rear sprocket. Anyways, so if you don't buy a Scott oiler, your fingers will get cut off definitely. Like 90% chance you're going to lose your fingers if you don't buy this. No, just <laughs> um, Yeah, so... So, yeah. But it's, there's been a few times in my life where I've thought about buying it because there's so many times where I'm riding my motorcycle and I'm like up in the mountains or I'm riding with a group like this and we're going high speed and I think to myself, shit, when was the last time I oiled my chain, you know? Uh, and sometimes I don't remember. I'm like, eh. And even if you do oil your chain regularly, you're still not going to have, you know, when you, oil, when you first spray the oil on, you've got too much. So you're riding along, you're spraying, oil on, you're spraying oil on your bike. You ride for a bit, the oil wears down. Okay, now you've got the right amount of oil. You ride a bit further, oh, guess what? Now you've got too little, you know? But with a Scott oiler, every single minute of the ride, you've, you've got the exact right amount, which is because they've, you know, they've got like years and years of experience and their machines are designed to put that right amount on. So it's, it's a cool product. And I got the E system, which means electronic. They have two systems. One's electronic, it uses an electronic pump. And the other is, it uses the vacuum pressure from your engine. To, it uses the pressure from your engine. And the, the electronic one comes with this really cool LCD screen. It shows the outside temperature. It shows the oil at what rate it's going onto my chain. It shows how much oil I have left in the reservoir. And it turned off because I'm stopped. It uses... Um, it has an accelerometer inside, and it turns on when I give the bike gas. So if I stop for more than a few seconds, by the looks of it, it just it, the pump turns off and the screen turns off to save energy. And it turns back on again uh, when I give it gas. Yeah, and it's, it's, and it's like I said, like I said somewhere else, 
where I'm uh, reviewing the product. It's just, it's a cool, uh, it's a cool looking gadget. When they first fitted the screen, I really, when I was at the shop and you put the screen on, I was like, I don't like that. <laughs> just, just bent it back a little bit. Looks a bit more, a bit, a bit better. I'll get used to it. I like that. Because <laughs> it kind of like, it looked obtrusive. It looked like it was going to, when I was riding, I'm going to have some new thing in my vision. But uh, I think the only reason I felt that way was because the bike was up on uh, up on uh, one of those lifts. The bike was like four feet in the air when, or, yeah, I don't know, like two, three feet up in the air when he, when he fitted it. And because the bike was higher and the screen was kind of standing up, it looked like it would really kind of stand out. But now that I'm on the bike, it isn't, it, it, I don't notice it at all. And it looks fine when I do look down at it. So yeah, so the screen's cool. Um, okay, I, did I lose the group? One thing I, one thing that I'm worrying about on this ride though is I'm worrying about my...